Today we're gonna do a good old fashioned Amazon favorites video. So I'm super excited to share and this is just gonna be a really fun chatty video. So I hope you're up for that. If you are new here, my name is Penny. I am a master esthetician. I'm super excited that you're here. If you are returning, I'm so glad you're here as well. I hope that if you haven't already, you will consider subscribing to this channel before you go. Okay, let's get into it. I am just gonna grab things. I have a whole like pile over here of stuff that is like, amazing. The first thing I wanted to share with you is a Nurse Jamie knockoff. Now, I talked about this many times over the years, but I have the actual one of these from Nurse Jamie. It looks like this. But a long time ago, I started picking up the knockoffs. I have probably four of these guys. And basically what this is, it's a little tool that you can use for lymphatic drainage. I take these on trips with me. It's so easy to pack. I mean, I absolutely love it. And I think the reason why I love it even more than a lot of other tools for lymphatic drainage is that you can use it right over your makeup. You can, you don't have to use an oil or any kind of a slip because it actually rolls. Now I like to keep this in a fridge if possible. Like if I'm at home, I will keep this either in a beauty fridge in my office right now, or I keep it in the fridge, like my regular fridge in the kitchen, because then this metal gets kind of cold. It is so wonderful. You can start on your neck area and work down so that you can really start to clear lymph. And then because it rolls like that, it's got this smooth side. You can totally work on your, you know, lymphatic drainage here along the jawline and it's so soothing to do that you can mindlessly just work on your face, work on your lymphatics and it really does help to kind of depuff and detoxify. One side has like um, a texture to it with, with little little bumps and they in, in the Nurse Jamie, I think that they're actually like crystals or something. These look like they're just little like plastic bumps. Really doesn't matter. The whole point of it is that it's a texture so it helps even more with that lymphatic drainage and kind of getting things flowing and moving. Well, recently I picked up the different style of this. Now I hadn't picked this up before and now I'm like, why did I ever sleep on this one? Now this is that same tool, only it's double, you know, it's got the double wand. This is so cool and I'm so glad I picked it up. The reason why this is cool is it fits right in the, you know, like the crook of your neck and you can sit and work that lymphatic drainage, work behind your ear, work right under your jaw area and just work that lymph. The reason why I like to do lymphatic drainage so much is because it genu genuinely can sculpt the face. I mean, there is no doubt that so much of the way that our face looks, the shape and everything has to do with the fluctuation of fluid in our tissue. I am someone who's particularly susceptible to kind of getting puffy and just retaining a lot of water and it can genuinely distort the way that you look and you can affect that by manual massage. You could just use your hands and do a lot of good manual massage and really sculpt out your cheeks, get your jawline. A lot of times we can get heavy right here and it's not jowling it's just water weight or fluid on the tissue and if you really dedicate some time to lymphatic drainage on a daily basis you will see an improvement just because you're keeping that fluid off of the tissue it really isn't gimmicky or anything now again you can just use your hands you can definitely just use your hands now the lymphatic system does not have a pump of its own so we have our cardiovascular system and we have our heart and that pumps our blood all over our body and it has this whole circulatory system going and there's a pump there's actually something that's driving the motion. Well, our lymphatic system, it's a similar system of vessels, etc. only there's no actual pump. What it relies on is things like our movement or it relies on us breathing really deeply. Even taking deep breaths will help to kind of encourage fluid to slowly move through the vessels. But what we can do is we can manually move that fluid along because no pump we can be the pump, if that makes any sense. Now the lymphatic system sits really close to the surface of our skin, so we wanna be relatively gentle with it. You don't really wanna like go in too hard. You can do massage like that if you want to, but if you're doing lymphatic massage, you don't need to be like a lot of pressure or anything. These tools are great for that too because you're able to just really gently work on that, that lymphatic system and gently encourage the 
fluid to move. Okay, the next thing we're gonna talk about are these headbands. These are so cute and they've completely, well, not completely, but they've pretty much replaced the headbands that go over and that, you know, slide back the, the full round headbands. A brand sent me this one in PR, and I honestly can't remember the brand. I want to say it was Kitsch. I can't remember, and I should be saying thank you, but this one was gifted to me, and it was the first one that I'd ever seen like this, and when I used it, I was like, that's really comfortable. I mean, it's really comfortable, uh, and it pulls your hair back so that it doesn't get wet. It does the whole thing. I don't know. I just really, really like it, and I like it better than the other kind of headbands. I mean... Honestly, they'll all work, but I really, really like it. So I went on to Amazon to see if I could find them because of course my daughter started stealing it, the whole thing, and I did. And so I wanted to share these with you because I think they're really great for washing your face, etc. When you're washing your face, the worst thing to do is to leave your hair down. It's so annoying and it's just like wearing the little wristband so that the water doesn't run down your arms. Getting your hair all in the water and into your face wash and all of that stuff is so annoying. So having a good headband and having it at the ready, I keep now my headbands with a claw clip on them just like I do with my other headbands. I always have a claw clip available with that so that I can pull my hair back, claw, clip it up, and be ready to wash my face without my hair being in my way at all. These are like six or seven dollars. I mean, they're super duper affordable and they feel really super comfortable. So this was another really great find on Amazon. Now, the next one is kind of a dupe of something that I already love, but when I found it, I was really excited. The This is a dry brush and I love to dry brush. And again, I love to dry brush for lymphatic drainage, but I also like to dry brush because I find that it does a little bit of exfoliation. And this time of year, especially since I'm just showing a little bit more skin, I really like to be nicely exfoliated so that my skin looks you know, smooth and all of that. Plus it just takes in the hydration that I'm gonna put on it and all of that kind of stuff. So I found this guy, it is from Happy Soul is the brand, but this is basically a dupe of my higher dose dry brush. Now my higher dose dry brush I think was like $69 and it is a dry brush but it contains copper bristles in it. All I know is this is my favorite dry brush I've ever used. The higher dose and then I got this and I'm like yeah that's definitely just as good and it's less than half the cost. So I wanted to share that with you because I've shared the higher dose one before and if you're loyal to that brand and you really like that one, which I do too, then that is awesome. But if you were interested but it was just out of your price range, here is a really fantastic alternative. All I do is I literally start at the tips of my fingers and I just do this all the way to like my armpits to my heart area like that area from my toes up on my abdomen I usually do kind of like um, I do a circular motion to encourage like digestion and stuff like that but I love it if you've never dry brushed before it is really a great way to get your circulation going to improve the look of your skin just by simple exfoliation it also helps with collagen production it helps with all of that kind of stuff because you're getting that circulation going and you're helping to oxygenate cells just by what's going on underneath and then of course it helps with that lymphatic drainage so it's going to help with puffiness it's going to help with sculpting it's going to help with cellulite believe it or not now I'm not saying that it's like a cellulite cure or anything but 100% circulation helps to improve cellulite over time and also lymphatic drainage can definitely improve the look of cellulite because you get rid of some of that fluid that sits on the tissue and puffs it up. So dry brushing is definitely, definitely a thing and it is such a favorite of mine and this is a great buy for sure. Okay, next we're gonna talk about a little bit of hair and I'm telling you guys, I've talked about this before. I'm gonna share it again because I realized when I got a subscribe and save order, like on Amazon, I'm subscribed to this particular product and I have been for years, that it's worth mentioning again because anything that you have on auto ship is probably a favorite, right? And it is the Macadamia Natural, this is a conditioner. 
I am telling you, it is one of the very best conditioners of life. If you have unruly hair, if you have color treated hair, blonde for sure, if you make your hair, if you lighten your hair, if you have coarse hair, this conditioner is everything. It is so good. I will say that it has a pretty strong like pear apple fragrance. And so I haven't heard a lot of people that don't like the scent, but it is definitely present. I mean, it, it, it's, it is there for a while after you have washed your hair and dried it and everything like that. I have to say that after I wash my hair, my husband is always like, oh, you smell so good. And it's this because it just smells clean and fresh and good, but it also makes your hair so soft and silky and manageable. It tames flyaways. I mean, it's a gorgeous conditioner. This one is really, really good too um, with heat. So if you want to do it without heat, it's great. If you want to do it with heat, it's awesome. Now I have this big guy, but I wanted to show you so this is the tube so I always have a tube for travel and this is what inspired me to add this into this video my subscribe and save order came and I have I get four of them every I want to say every three months I think is how I do it but when this order showed up I was like and it, ha it does every you know few months the order shows up I thought that's definitely worth sharing again because it is such a holy grail of mine. So that is the macadamia natural conditioner. Now, if you have similar hair to what I just described, but maybe it's a little bit more fine, it's still unruly, maybe you color treat or you lighten your hair, um, if it's lackluster, any of those things, but it's not quite coarse. You So you don't want to be weighed down then in that case, you want to check out the Subaki mask. Now, I've talked about this forever and ever, and I will always forever credit uh, Christina, the uh, owner of Jouet. She is the one that recommended this to me to begin with, and I've never looked back. That was years ago. You guys, this is like 10 to $12 or something. It is so affordable. It often will be like 10% off or something like that, and I'll pick up an extra one or two. It also has a pretty strong fragrance of like fruitiness or something and again I really really like it but this one is good I would say for almost all hair types who need a little bit extra hydration conditioning smoothing um, that need a little extra shine that kind of thing this one is so so good as well one of my favorite things that I have picked up in so long it is a new hair towel that I got and this one, I don't even know how I came across this. I have used hair towels like the Aquas hair towel and knockoffs of that microfiber towel for years and years, and I love them. This one is called the Aquas Flip. Now, it looks a little bit different because it doesn't have the end where it comes together, and it's much longer. So if you have longer hair, this is really, really great. Now, this is not inexpensive. It is pretty expensive for a hair towel, but I feel like it's worth every penny. Here's what I do. I wash, condition, I do that whole thing, and then I put it in all my styling products while my hair is pretty wet, and then I put this on, and I let this do a lot of the drying of my hair, and when I take this off, I feel like my hair is mostly dry. It's not all the way dry, but it's a lot dry, and it's so soft. There's something about letting it dry like that that leaves the hair so soft, and of course, it means less heat damage. It means, you know, less heat on you to flare up redness, etc. At least that's how I feel. Anytime I blow dry my hair, I'm like, oh, I'm going to be so red for a while from the heat of it. So anytime I can avoid that as much as possible, I do. This is special. It is definitely special. And it's much bigger than the originals. And so, like I said, if you have longer hair, this is really, really fantastic for that. It doesn't have the button and the loop that the original ones do. It has just this kind of um, section like this at the base so that when you turban it up, you just stick the towel through there or you stick the towel under it like you would if you were turbaning your hair up with a regular towel. And then you just go about your business for a while and let it do its work of just soaking up the water that's in your hair. I'm telling you, it is such a great way to dry your hair, especially in the summertime. You have to care for these properly though, or you can ruin them. You have to, wa I wash mine with a fragrance free, um, soap, you know, like um, laundry soap. I wash this with my other towels like this, so my other microfiber towels, 
I do tumble dry it in the dryer, no fabric softener. So no fabric softener in the washer, no fabric sheets or anything like that in the dryer, and then this will stay good. After I have dried my hair, I will hang it out and let it air dry completely. I don't put it away at all wet and or even damp. I let it get completely dry hanging out, and then I will use it the next day because it dries out pretty quick. It is such a great find you guys such a great find this is from Trish McAvoy and it is her eye brightener I shared this I don't know maybe a couple years ago it is essentially like a light 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 pink slash peach corrector slash concealer it's really more of a corrector than it is a concealer but I feel like in the summertime it's kind of sheer but it does do some brightening and color correction it's really nice on its own if you have kind of like the tear trough indentions that are shadowed with you know dark circles like you know, blood vascularity kind of thing. Or if you want to just get a little lift in the outer corner of your eye, or maybe at your, if you've noticed that you have shadow at your nasolabial folds, this is so great. Now, the way that I use it is I will actually put it on to the depressed area. So like the tear trough area, and I will let it sit. I want to show you, hopefully you'll be able to tell how bright and pinky that is. I use it very, very sparingly, and I only put it on the areas that are kind of recessed or dark. I don't spread it all around or anything like that. So I will put just a little bit, like let's say in my tear trough, and then I will go on and maybe curl my hair, for example, and I let it almost completely dry, which sounds crazy, and then I'll take a, con a concealer brush. I have this one from Trini London that I absolutely love, by the way. And I also have the one from Angie Hot and Flashy, which I also love. I have another one from Sephora, any concealer brush, or you could also use a dampened beauty blender, but I really do kind of like a brush the best. And I basically just buff it out so that it doesn't move very far. And because it's almost all the way dry, it really provides a little bit of concentrated application that's pretty precise, but by buffing it out, you kind of, you can't see it and it really can bring an area forward. This is one of those things that I haven't really been able to replicate. This is so unique to me in its texture. It's almost moussey and also in its color. Everything about it to me is perfect for bringing forward and for kind of concealing shadows. It is not super opaque, so it's not going to completely cover a dark shadow or anything. It's just going to help to bring an area forward. It's going to help to brighten. It's going to help to kind of give that illusion of lift because of the brightening kind of thing. Anyway, that's how I use Use this and I absolutely love it and I bought it and I've repot it on Amazon a couple times and um, I love it I absolutely love it I wanted to share that one again because I've been talking about eyes a lot lately because I'm working on this really big eye video and so I've had conversations with people and I think that this is one of the things that we can do that is just cosmetic that can help the situation visually beyond what we can try and do with our you know skincare etc the next thing I want to share with you to me is really, really important. These are UV gloves. I actually just placed an order and I have a pair of hot pink ones coming. I get my nails done every couple of weeks, two to three weeks, and I do sit in a UV lamp while they cure or whatever. And I am doing a test with a couple different IPL devices, at home IPL devices for two things. One is for hair removal. I'm, I'm testing them out to see which ones work for hair removal, etc. I'm also testing them out to see if they work for dark spots. Now, I have used the Faustina IPL for years, and I found that it worked really, really well when I was really consistent with it for dark spots. So I purchased a couple other at-home IPLs, and I'm just testing them out. Well, one of the areas that I'm testing is the back of my hands, because really, in the last year, I have noticed that the back of my hands have gotten like crazy with age spots, etc. So I thought, well, that'll be a great tester just providing myself with the testing ground for these devices. Point being, I really need to protect my hands so that I don't make the spots worse. Also, when it's summertime and we're out there with our hand on the steering wheel, honestly, anytime, all year long, but especially in the summer, sun is beating down, it is a great idea to get yourself some UV gloves. These were not expensive. They were under $10. When I go to get my nails done, these are what... I'm wearing when my hand is in the light so that I don't sit there and get a nice dose of UVA from that lamp 
and make my hands look even worse. I do not want to do that. And I'm keeping a set of these in my car so that I can get in. And when I, they're very, very comfortable too. They're like super duper silky and soft. And because the tips of my fingers can be out, you don't feel like you're wearing gloves in the middle of the summer. They're actually super comfortable so that when you're driving, you're not just baking the back of your hands. I'm telling you, this is one of those things that I wish I would have started doing when I was young. I wish I would have been protecting the back of my hands and keeping sunscreen in the car. I do put sunscreen on the back of my hands, but keeping sunscreen in the car isn't a good idea. You don't want your sunscreen to sit and get hot or anything like that. Half the time I've forgotten it to put it in a purse or a switch purses or whatever. So just keeping a pair of UV gloves in the car is a great way to protect the back of your hands. Now I do have sleeves that I have used in the past, like when I go bike riding, etc., to try and protect my arms and that kind of thing. But a lot of times when I'm in the car, I'm wearing a sweatshirt. I wear a sweatshirt even through the whole summer. I'll put my feet warmer on and I've got a sweatshirt on, but my hands are exposed. So I really do encourage you to check out UV gloves, especially if you get your nails done. Keep a pair in your car so that you protect your hands. And we're going to do this little experiment with these IPLs and see how it works on spots. Because dang it, if it works on the back of my hands, if these other devices work on the back of my hands, I, I'm going to be ecstatic. I will be over the moon and I'll be excited to share the results of the comparison. I think I'm doing one, two, three, four different IPLs. I'm testing four different IPLs. And again, I'm testing for hair removal and I'm also testing for dark spots. The Faustina is the only one that actually says it has a lamp for dark spots, but I know that the IPLs that are going after hair removal, they're going after the pigment in the hair. They theoretically should also work on the pigment in your skin. It's the same chromophore, it's the same target, and so it should help with dark spots as well. So we're gonna find out about that. All right, we are down to the end. I wanted to share with you again my very favorite summertime tinted sunscreen this year, and it is the Ali Oop. Only thing I don't like is you can see the lid gets really, really dirty in there. I mean, like it's full of makeup. This one is in the color Glisten. I am wearing it today, and I have to tell you, it is the most gorgeous tinted sunscreen ever. It is an SPF of 50. The way that I wear this is I put my Dermatology Universal Tinted Moisturizer on first and I'm pretty generous with that. I let that dry down and I use that almost like a primer, but I also use that as my first defense of sunscreen because I don't want to rely on using a ton of this because I'm kind of using it like a foundation. But I love this because it is SPF of 50. It has iron oxides in it and it really is just this extra layer of sun protection and the finish is phenomenal it is so beautiful so I literally take this end that looks like that and I just swipe it a few stripes like that then I take my hands and I rub it all around and I take a dampened beauty blender and I bounce it into the skin just to kind of give it you know an airbrushed finish and it is absolutely gorgeous. So it looks like this, and you can see it's very, you know, it's um, loose. It is not thick or anything like that, but it is seriously such a beautiful finish. Now, if the Ilia Serum Tint was too dewy for you, but you like the concept, this is a really great alternative. This is definitely less dewy than the Ilia, but it is nowhere near matte. So it's a little bit more like skin-like finish without being shiny or really radiant, but it definitely gives you a nice, soft glow to your skin without being too dewy. I love it. I'm so glad that I picked it up. And I did buy mine on, on Amazon. They have like a, they have an alley -oop store on Amazon. And again, my color is Glisten, and it is what I am wearing today. So I think that is all of my fun finds recently and some of them long term on Amazon. I hope you enjoyed this kind of chatty video and let me know in the comment section what is something really great you have found on Amazon that you want to share with the community because I think it's so cool. I will sit there and just browse through Amazon and um, I'm so inspired by some of the really unique things that people come up with like this. I just think 
That is so smart. That is seriously so smart. And it's so valuable and it works so well. And anyway, I love to hear your suggestions. I love to hear the things that you are loving. So definitely comment that down below. I hope that you're having a really wonderful week so far. And I'll talk to you in my next skincare video. Take care.